Yeah, the dry air in place, but also the ability for those temperatures to really drop. The lower the dew point, the lower the temperatures are able to go. So that means that tonight there's a good potential for frost in many spots across the state. So early tomorrow morning, you're likely going to wake up to a frosty start statewide. Even a hard freeze possible across some areas up north in the pink here, where we could see temperatures dip even more. And so what this all means is that the growing season still hasn't officially started yet here in New Hampshire. Sure, the last freeze dates on average for the Concord area, not until May 8th, the record latest mid June back in 1979, the record earliest last freeze April 20th back in 1923. And so we're at that time of year where we're starting to see some warmer days. People are itching to get out in their gardens and get things growing. But just keep in mind that it is still early. The average last frost isn't until even later into May. For southern parts of the state, we're not until mid to even late May as far as the last frost. That's why we say it's usually a safe bet to really just wait until Memorial Day and then you're usually good to go. Up north, you can still get frost even into June. So yeah, the growing season still hasn't officially begun. If you have started some planting though, just make sure that you're aware that these frosts and even freezes can still happen for the next couple of weeks. And so you want to make sure you're ready to protect those plants if need be. Kevin.